Happy Saturday, everyone. Thanks for taking time out of your weekend to spend some time with the Daily Office Noonday Prayer with us and with God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 126 with joined voices. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray for peace using the words that we just spoke. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let us glorify your name, Lord. Let your name be known throughout the earth so that every tongue shall pronounce it, every knee shall be bend at hearing your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Dear Lord, shower your grace upon this creation, your beloved world that you made for us, a world in which we were all meant to be happy, meant to get along, meant to have abundance for each and every person that you have so mercifully allowed to live on this beautiful planet. Redirect our thoughts and minds from destroying it and each other and let us know that heavenly peace here on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Feed us, dear Lord, not only physically, but spiritually and emotionally and politically. Show us that just an equitable treatment is not a right. It is a responsibility that we have towards each other. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, Lord, Speak into existence in our hearts and our mouths those words, I'm sorry I hurt you. What can I do to make it better? What can we do together to make this world better? Not just for us, but for the generations ahead. Let us release our selfishness that we wallow in, that this time is the only time, and we know good and well that it is not. Just as our parents and grandparents and progenitors provided for us so that we could have life up until this point, let us have that foresight, that wisdom, that grace to pray for justice and mercy. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Keep us from the evil one, dear Lord. Purge these thoughts and actions from our world. Help us to do better. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Hear it, O Lord. And gather us in. And have mercy on us all. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, sisters and brothers. Continue to pray for this world. Um, things continue to deteriorate, especially here at home, but especially in other parts of the world. Um, and sometimes we feel so far removed from those, but actually... Everything that happens in another place will affect us ultimately. Doesn't matter if it's at the grocery store, if it's in the marketplace, if it's one of our veterans being killed, injured. We're all affected by evil. So let's pray for the intervention and the sustenance of good in this world. We know that we can leave the world a better place this evening than we found it this morning. It takes us all working together. God bless you.